We had 33 competitors this year between poster and oral and wasn't quite equal, but very close. Um, and so I thank you all for participating. Uh, it shows a real health in the next generation. It, um, it and, and this meeting, we are seeing more and more students every year and we're thrilled that you can be here. Uh, along those lines, the McDonald Center uh, was a huge sponsor. Uh, Jeff explained that earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight it again. Um, they helped sponsor bring all the students here registration, and so they really supported this meeting and being inclusive of the students. I also want to thank all the judges. Um, so many people signed up. I think we had 20 people. A few people took extra posters for me when we just didn't quite have them all filled in. And so I'm really grateful to all of you. And what I love is that the winners for this um, really showed a diversity in judges. And it really, I do believe that our winners uh, rose to the top. Now that also doesn't mean <laughs> that everybody was lower. It was very tight, just like last year. There's a really high quality of work being done by our graduate students, and I congratulate you all. Uh, if you didn't get selected, you probably had a high score and you were in the running, um, and it just wasn't quite high enough. But um, thank you for being a part of it. Now with that, I know we're all ready to go. Um, I am gonna ask, I'm gonna go third, second, first, and if you would come up, um, we will have a picture at the end with the three winners for each group. We'll do one and then we'll do the other. Greg, I assume you want to be in those. Um, and so I'm going to get started. So for third place for the poster behavior of BP-1 and LHS-1 lunar regolith simulant under vacuum conditions, I congratulate David Sanchez Valencia. All right, and <laughs> uh, second place, I don't know if he's online, but Jared Long Fox for development and validation of the Sparta data analysis software suite. Is he online? Either way, yay! <laughs> So let's get him on the screen if we can. And first place goes to Ethan Ayari for probing the surface composition of the moon with a dust analyzer. And he did a lot of work on Moon Red Con this year. So thank you for all of that. All right. Congratulations. All right. Is Jared on there? Okay. Then it's just the four of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, I do we every year we have uh, Andy's X Mass students here. And we just want to give an honorable mention. We had uh, two young gentlemen here, Ari Mehta and Aiden Perry. Um, they had to leave, unfortunately, so I didn't get to tell them, but we will tell them um, about that. So they have an honorable mention, as well as um, there's a group, uh, I think they were out of Logos High School, but Arjun uh, Sundar yesterday gave us a lightning talk and there was a group of them that did their poster and we we are thankful for them as well oh well Arjun middle school but the others are high school so he did it through the high school because there's not an avenue at the middle school but that's really exciting all right so moving on to the oral presentations um start with third place again so we have Sean Gopala Krishnan did I get that right? Is are you up? Oh, come on up. <laughs> okay. 
And then second place, yep, uh, is Tyler Farr with thermal extraction of water from lunar regolith simulant using concentrated irradiation experimental investigation. And last but definitely not least, Zachary Vig for visible near infrared spectral evidence for olivine in the Grunentines domes. I didn't get that. <laughs> Um, so both first place winners get a $1,500 travel award to be used in the future. And if you need it for this one, you can, you can ask for that as well. And then second and third place get $1,000 travel dollar award. And so I'll connect you with Yvonne and she'll manage that, but you'll be able to use those funds for some kind of travel in the future. So, okay.